I'm Tony, SV to Patcha. We are building a cruising sailboat and uh, made good progress this week. I feel lots of shiny things at least, which is always, always good for the, um, for the motivation. Um, started off by getting some varnish on, on, on the aft deck, the, the wood trim. There's not that much trim here, but a little bit there on the hatch, piece here. And that was in preparation to, to get some gloss paint on, and that really was one of, the, one of the big exciting things this week, was that I've got the main deck, the raised deck up here, glossed. I've left two big panels, we'll look at it later. Two big panels for that will be non-slip, but all around the edge and the centre strip. Those are glossed, and then I got down here and glossed everything here that won't be non-slip. So it's these backs here, that bulkhead there, glossed various parts there, just leaving places for panels for the non-slip. Before I did that, 
you may have noticed something a bit different and that is that up in this bulkhead there there are two new holes Just for your interest. No voids. This hole was the obvious one because in my previous boat we also had our compass, the ship's compass mounted there in that bulkhead. Um, here's my compass. Uh, let's just work our way into this box. Here we go. Here's my compass. Plastimo Contest 130. It's a reasonable size compass. Compass. Um, pop the cover off of it. There we go. Looks like, like that. Quite nice, I think. Well readable. Plastic cover for the back, plastic cover for the front, and yeah, various instructions and whatever. Looks good. Pleased with that. Obviously, you've got back lighting in it for 12 or 24 volt, 12 in this case. The other one was, was a bit of a something I've been thinking about for a long time, and for a long time I've been also looking at the the Chandler websites and Chandlers at, at um, chart plotters and thinking whether or not I wanted a chart plotter and, and you know there's no way you could argue that a chart plotter is essential clearly you can sail without one and I have a lot I've done a good number of thousand miles with no chart plotter but the other side of it is when they're up and running, of course, they're a great safety feature because, because you basically know where you are and knowing where you are at sea is, is a marvellous thing. Um, GPS enabled, of course, plotter. And so, I say, I was looking at Chandler's, looking at different sizes. The cheap ones, obviously, are the small ones, five inch. And when you look at how big a five inch plotter is, you think, hmm. <laughs> Uh, I'm not going to be seeing much on that and they, they did a 7 inch and, and in the end I decided to go for a 9 inch and 9 inch plotter and the good people at SVB here in Europe 
had reasonable offers, reasonable offers on the Garmin GPS Map 922 comes together with a, a with one chart set. And here's another point, chart sets. So I bought this plotter, I'll open it up in a minute. I bought this plotter together with uh, one chart pack. You get to choose which chart pack and it just, I thought, well, I guess I need Germany really, is where I am, is where I'll be starting, so I've got the Germany chart pack. And then when you look at the price of additional chart packs, they go out about, uh, the standard chart pack, it's about 126 euro for a chart pack, um, which initially you think, oh my word, that's not cheap. But then when you think about it, and it took me a while to get to this one, but I've got the entire pack of Germany, or you can buy the entire pack of charts of Germany for 126 euro. Hazel, who's bought paper charts for Germany, has had to, and hasn't got all of Germany. She has had to buy three or four chart packs and still hasn't got all of Germany. Uh, and they go at about 50 bucks a pack. It's actually cheaper. Of course, the drawback is it needs to be working. You're relying on electronics and electricity and all of that for it to be working. So any sensible boater would have paper charts as well, wouldn't they? Anyhow, here we are. Let's have a look at it. The cover. Obviously, I showed you, didn't I? I have a cover for the compass. And here is the beastie itself. Oh, I've opened the bottom. Okay, that's interesting. It's down in there is the mounting stuff. Um, you've got various mounting options. It comes with a, with a bracket, mounting bracket. Seals and cables and instructions and some screws. Yeah. That's what you get with it. And this is the plotter itself. So various options of ways to mount it. You could put it in a bracket and, and then the next thing one has to think about, of course, is where to mount it. And there's an option to mount it in at the chart table, where of course you can't read it from the cockpit. And uh, also this one, I, I decided to get one that has the NMEA 2000 plug on the back. An NMEA 2000 is basically a network, an onboard network that allows you to hook up any other NMEA 2000 compatible device to it. Now you can get all sorts of gubbins to hook up to these things. We could tell you, you know, wind speed and wind direction and water temperature and log and all sorts of things. But the only one I need is a depth sounder. This has got built in GPS, but I will get an enemy A2000 depth sounder and hook that up so that the depth is also read off on the screen. So it seemed to me best place to, was in the cockpit and somewhere where it's easily readable from the cockpit or in the cockpit. And there it is, sat in there like that. I'm not going to take the protective film off, I'm afraid. But that's Navigation stuff in the cockpit, it's actually pretty exciting. Pretty exciting. I will build a box around this with probably some kind of slide-in lid so it can, it can be protected one and locked away when not in use. Uh, I have a slide-in lid with a lock on it, I think. It's just a protective box around it. Um, in hardwood, I suspect, varnished hardwood. Um, but yeah. That's very exciting. Never had one of them before. Always a paper chart man before now. And as I say, I think you still need paper charts. I wouldn't go away from them. Well guys, that's it for this week. I'm just a quick mention before I go of, of the Patreon site. I have a Patreon site. Um, I've put some things up there. They're available to everybody. Um, now and again I put short videos up or photos of, of the build and thoughts and uh, I have a feeling something will be coming up there soon. So if 
anyone's interested in extra material, get over to the Patreon site, it's there, um, Patreon page, a few bits and bobs there. Um, if not, thank you for watching. Um, give us your thumbs up, please. Or click that subscribe button and see you next time. Bye. Take a brighter heart